Well, my charging completed like normal the other night, but now, sometime when the car wasn't plugged in, I think, something in the UMC broke. Those three flashes indicate a contactor failure, because there's a contactor inside the UMC itself. And since this is sealed up for weather uh, purposes, so you can use it outside in snow and rain, uh, there is no repair option. So I'm gonna double check it at my friend Jake's house to make sure that it's not a problem with the uh, connections there or over at my box, but I think it's probably the UMC that has to be replaced. I think it just died. Oh, and when it plugs into the car, the car gives a red charge port. I should mention that. Uh, and says that there's charging equipment failure. And then as soon as you unplug it, no errors persist on the car display. So that's why I think it's this, because like, it's obviously not plugged into anything right now. In fact, it wasn't plugged in at all while I was at work. I plugged it in when I got home to see if maybe being unplugged for a while would help it clear a memory or something. And uh, immediately it went back to this, this three flashing sequence. So it's probably dead. Um, this is my second UMC, but this one is probably about five years old, so, uh, and it gets a daily use, um, hours a day, and um, I've always had it set to 30 amps, though, so it hasn't been taxed as hard as it could be, but still, it is what it is. I'm also going to plug it into this regular outlet and see if it's a 240 problem, but alas, still three blinks, so I think it is dead, dead. Very dead. All right, I'm just back from my friend's house and indeed my car charged fine on his charger. So here we are with the new, I guess it's the second generation Tesla charger. So right, it actually lights up the, uh, the name Tesla instead of just the colored lights. But now my strain relief shelf is in the wrong place. So I'm gonna have to move it on up. Uh, Cause the idea is that this you know, sits back against this plate and is supported here so that it's not, the weight of all that cord isn't hanging off the UMC itself. So that will be hopefully a quick project and we'll be charging back as normal. Well, of course it was not a quick project. <laughs> the uh, new UMC is a significantly different size than the old one and would not fit in my, uh, my little carrier that I had here from before. So I had to raise it up and trim the sides and whack the front to get this to sit there just right so that it's a uh, strain relief, uh, so that the weight is off of the UMC itself and basically supported by this shelf and uh, still has like, you know, in case it gets really hot, I have that aluminum plate there. But one of the downsides of this is um, that, well, well, the lights are, are pretty. We like that. One of the downsides of that means, of course, that all my extra plugs that I had that I stashed kind of behind here before don't fit. But the main downside of the second generation UMC is that my old one would charge at uh, 40 amps when fully maxed out. And this new one will top out at 32 amps. So even though I was daily charging at 32 at 30 amps anyway I now have a slight loss of capability and just for fun I hear the fans are kicking on here so we go down and uh no no you can't really see if the flaps are open well you take my word for it those flaps are open that's one of those things that you also have to check in now and then because they do periodically fail see these are closed let me see if I can have my light here yeah so this is like uh, more likely that you would see this open up here if the air conditioning were running. Like if I wanted to precondition the car, here you can see them. Whereas this side right now is open because it's charging. Oh, and they just closed, bastards. <laughs> well, anyway, so the new UMC cost, uh, I think it was 250 plus the NEMA adapter for 35, so it's like 285, but weirdly they didn't give me the 110 uh, adapter that plugs in here, so actually I don't have a 110 one right now. I'll have to go back. In that scenario, it would have been cheaper to buy it on the website, but I had it the same day from the service center, so I can't complain. 
too much. And I'm going to see if I can get them to price match that. But all's good in the hood again. Thank you, everybody, for watching.